What is going on? Quest for 900 followers. I really appreciate all the support. Please remember to subscribe, like, and comment. Um, let's let's get this going. I need more subs. I need more interaction. Uh, I'm trying to be patient. I know I just started this last week, but I know there's a lot of bowlers out there, and I feel like I'm going to bring you guys a lot of great content, and uh, I hope uh, you enjoy following my journey. Last week was not good at all. <laughs> I was experimenting with a new ball. It was hooking way more than I thought. It's supposed to be. It was a new uh, layout where I wanted it to roll earlier and smoother. And it turned out to be longer and angular. And I was able to put some, some 2,000 and 1,000 surface on. A able to tame it out a bit, but it is just way stronger than I Th ever thought it was going to be so i actually love it and it was uh, rolling great once i got further left and was a bit more aggressive just trusting that it was going to come back from for, from covering that many boards so i'm actually going to give it a shot tonight in league that is the radical uh, pandemonium i still don't even know what the heck it's called <laughs> and i'm going to bring my mode of fatal venom which always seems to roll good there especially once i uh uh, start seeing some transition um the goal tonight is just to relax and have fun um last week i think i was just trying to work on too many things at once and i think it's good to focus on one thing but i had two and three things going and i think that's okay when you're practicing but not when you're in league or a competition i think it's just good to have one kind of feel thing so tonight i'm going to focus on a short first step and that's all I'm going to think about and obviously, you know, keep my eyes on my mark and watch the ball roll over my mark or the area I'm trying to hit. And uh, hopefully I have some good results. So I will check back with you guys later tonight. All right, I'm back after league tonight. I bowled a 684 series. Um, the first game, 214. Um, I was battling over under with the ball, coupled with a few bad shots in between there, and I whiffed a 10 pin. Very upset at myself, my thumb hole. Um, I shoot, uh, I use a traditional grip, which is the two fingers and the thumb, to shoot my spares nice and straight and fast. And I didn't like to feel the thumb hole is a bit too tight. What did I do? I. Just went after it anyways, and I wasn't even close because my fit was so off. Second game, uh, more of the same, just fighting over under. I should have ball changed. I did have another open frame there. I missed a three pin, uh, just yanked it way left. So uh, my miss was left tonight, both two-handed and one-handed. Uh, i got to figure out where that's coming from. That's not usually what I uh, do. I usually miss a little right, so i got to figure out what's going on with that. And then the last game was really nice at the front six or seven. And then on one of my best shots, it uh, let's flip this back around. One of my best shots, um, seventh or eighth frame when I had the run of strikes, the third game, uh, Came up just a bit high. I don't know if I got around it a little bit better. Got a couple extra revs on it. I don't know, but I was kind of disappointed because it's it's tough when your your better shots don't strike. Um, so my next couple shots, I kept the speed up because I didn't want to have to move left again. And it got me in the pocket. I didn't strike on every ball, but I finished with a strong 256. And the lanes were getting a little weird, so I'm actually proud of the way I bowled that last game, I did make a ball switch to the Fatal Venom. From the I started with the Radical, and I was really trying to make that ball work. Uh, it's tough when you get a new toy; you're excited to use it, and uh, I was trying to force it, and it just wasn't giving me the room that you usually find on a uh, house shot. So I felt like I had to split boards and be really precise with my speed there. So lesson learned. Don't force a, a, a wrong ball. Um, Got to get my spare shooting better. Those 214s, 214, 214, they could have easily been 230s with just a single pin conversion spare. So 
you know, just two more spares at 684 series goes, you know, up to a 720 series, maybe even higher. So, um, all in all, uh, I'm happy with the progress. I'm still working on a few things that uh, me and Chris, my coach, went over. I feel like in practice, I'm doing it real well. In league, I'm still kind of stuck in between the new and the old, and maybe that's what's given me those off-the-planet misses in. I'll have to talk it over with him. Uh, this is getting a little long-winded, but... Oh, I, uh, I did want to show you guys kind of where I'm starting from average-wise. I did not start this league at the beginning of the season. I kind of jumped in late, eight or nine weeks in. So there I am, uh, 221 uh, average going into t tonight. That probably should stay the same with the 684. Maybe it'll go up one, I doubt it. But uh, and I don't get any uh, handicap because uh, I think uh, in this league, I think it's 210. There's a person averaging 211 that gets no pins either. So, um, like I mentioned in my first video, um, I did. I'm just shocked on how quick I picked up my skill. Uh, I think in some ways I'm even um, better than I was. I talked about the mental game. Uh, even though I was really grinding and really struggling the first two frames, Games. had some very uh, uncharacteristic open frames with the single pins, especially a two pin. My goodness, that's almost as easy as a five pin to make. So I could have got really upset and threw in the towel, but I kept fighting. I kept grinding. I finally uh, switched to a new ball that I was more familiar with, more comfortable with, and something that gives me a little bit more room usually. So, again, lesson learned. Um, I think it's pretty phenomenal that, you know, I'm averaging, what is that, 228, and I I threw the ball okay. Uh, it's great. I can only go up from here. Uh, so if I'm averaging almost 230 with kind of a meh night, I'm really excited for what can happen when I'm on and uh, I'm making, you know, smart, comfortable I'm making smart moves and just staying comfortable in competition. So I think it's coming. Uh, baby steps. Before we get that that 800, I mean that 900 series, let's start with a 700 and then an 800. But I feel like uh, I'm really close to throwing it really great for three games, and that's what it's going to take to give me a chance. So uh, this one ended up being a little bit long, but uh, thanks for staying with me. And uh, Pro Shop tomorrow, I'm getting a, I had a motive tank that I did not like two-handed, so I'm going to drill it one-handed. Um, it's going to kind of be a spare ball or double as on a short sport pattern if I'm completely lost or my two-handed equipment and shot is just hooking out of the building. I do have a decent one-handed shot where I can move way right. And just kind of play up the back of it and let that uh, urethane read nice and early and smooth. And, and so that's those are my thoughts behind that. So excited to see Chris and get that done tomorrow. And uh, maybe I'll uh, get a chance to uh, film a couple of shots. All right. With that, uh, y'all have a great night.